हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द एस पी ट्रिक्स डॉट नेट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द टेम्पोरल टेबल्स इट्स ऑल्सो नोन एज सिस्टम वर्ड्स इन टेबल्स सो दिस इज अ न्यू फीचर्स इन स्क्यूल सर्वर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सो द सेशन इज नॉट गोइंग टू विथ यूर रूल्स सो यू नॉट हैव टू वरी अबाउट योर टाइम सो मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स I just want to tell you the topic which we will cover today are what what is temporal tables why why we should use temporal tables the third one is how there are two sub topics here how it works and how to use and now then the fourth in which we will have some basic question and answers so it's too small you do not have to worry about your time moving towards what the first ones what is temporal tables so is a new type of table in sql server 2016 so as we have the normal tables in which we were keeping the data in format of uh, row and column so here the same it's a new type of table in which we will have the data in tabular format but the second thing is that temporal tables provide the correct information about stored data at any point in time here i have highlighted time so all the data into the table would be the tightly related with the time context might be uh, it would be so difficult to understand this line but later on you will able to know how it is and moving towards the second one why temporal tables so uh, the here we have mentions the three bulleted words one is time travel second one is data audit and third one is clean code i am going to one by one time travel now it's very easy to traverse and to know and to compare the data on the time and between the time second one is data audit because the temporal tables keep track changes of all the data so now it's very easy to audit the data the second thing is that it's easy to recover data in accidental case either by human or application most of the times by developers too or sometimes by the system failures we lose the data so on that times now it's very easy to recover all those lost data or to correct or to modify the data without any backup or restore the data how so we just have to go to the history pick the correct data and have to update with the current records that's it the third one is clean code because the temporal tables be built automatically by the simple configurations it just and enable and disable kinds of syntax for the sql cell so here we do not have to implement the custom logic here we are not going to use any trigger we are not going to reuse any custom logics like parallel replica so by using temporal tables we are also cleaning our ports so finally now it's easy to manage historical data in sql server 2000 16 moving towards how how it's work how temporal tables works so as we had normal tables in sql server 2016 the same normal tables would be here but whenever a user comes in user comes and try to perform any tml operations or any sql operations it's just what do it automatically track the all the changes and keep stored in any separate tables related with the normal tables so in history tables here we can see the icons of a watch it means that with the time context it tracks all the changes of the data now how it's look in the db so if we will explore the sql server management studio here in we'll see in the database we have two tables one is departments and second one is employee we haven't applied the system versioning on the employees that is why we do not have here the system version whereas i have applied 
the system versions on the department table so what it does it's automatically create a replica of the history into department history so here how it's linked with the normal table and it's linked with the historical tables so user always have to interact with the normal tables user doesn't have to make the direct query on the history tables however they can make but because we are following the standards so as usual we will make any query to the normal tables and automatically it would define the data from the history tables and we see so now it's time to demo here we will see how to create a new table and uh, with this demo what we are going to do here we are going to apply on the existing table so first of all we will create some new normal tables and then after we will apply the system version on them we will perform some html operations and fetch the record so you can download the sample code here what i am doing i am just going to my sql server management studio here i have already made it my all the syntaxes so it's very easy to demonstrate here so the same here i will explore the db16 here is my database and i can see here here i have only one tables db employee so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a simple departments so with the department department name and manager id here you can see i have commented one line must have primary key so whenever we are going to make any temporal tables make sure we have applied and primary key any of the columns so i just executed the tables incorrect syntax now go so okay so because we are going to keep track the all the changes of the data so what i'm going to do i'm going to add two more columns with the date which is equivalent of start date and second one is end date so i'm going to just add two column here now to apply the system versionings what i'm going to do i'm going to alter one more syntax here if meanwhile i will refresh the explorers i will see here in tables we have two tables one is department and second one is employee but still we do not have any others history so what i'm going to do i am going to map the department's tables with the department history so i am just altering the same tables and i have enabled the system version on for history tables department history and now what i do i refresh the same and i see here is the watch so if i will refresh the tv i will see in the tables we have two tables here one is department and second one is department history and we have automatically added the system versions here so this is the normal tables this is the system version tables system version tables having mapping with the department history which i have created with this syntax now what i'm going to do i'm going to add some department here with the manager id so manager id is one and i'm going to add two departments one is dev development second one is ui so it's just a dummy records for the better demo i have created all the snippets now what i does if i will run select strict form departments 
you will see the two rows are here so now what i does i am going to change the department name uh of department id 1 so initially it was dev and now i am going to change it to development so i have updated one records and second i am also going to delete one department that is ui so i am just going to delete the departments so finally if i will see i have only one department here with the de department name development i have already deleted the ui department so now if i will make the query on the department history and the departments here in the department history we have the two changes one is dev and second one is ui though i have deleted ui from the departments but still it is coming in department history so here we have also track the time changes so system start times and system start end times for the dev is this and for the ui system start times and system start times is this so now how to get historical data so it's very easy because i'm going to add here today date and date for the department id 1 i am trying to fetch the data so here i got the department id 1 with the changes dev to the development so the finally we have changes of all the data i haven't made any query over the department history here the only departments but still i'm able to get all my data now moving towards the slide here here is my simple observation so we can't truncate tables but we can clean up the time data with the time periods so once we will try to run the query truncate table simple truncate would be not works because it doesn't support operations on the system version tables second the same if we'll try to drop the direct drop query would be fails because it does not support the operations on system version tables but we can do how we can do so we can just off the system version for the table and then we can drop the data we can drop the tables so i am just going to do in one shot i have created the query and executed the query now i am going to replace now you can see the department id department tables and department history is not existing here so this was my basic observations now the third one is what happened if we will change the column of the tables means if we change the scheme of tables does it will store the data yes it will how you have to go to the official microsoft websites here changing the schema of a system version temporal tables describes very easily uh because i love the microsoft official website so you can go through the channel lines here is a good phenomenal video over the temporal tables uh, if you want to explore in the textual formats you just have to go to doc.microsoft.coms though the sql authority is my favorite sql blog but still i would prefer the sql hints here because having the great articles over temporal tables
if you have any questions you can submit here thank you bye bye